Oh, what is up everybody? Hold up. What is up guys? How are y'all doing today? I'm good? All right, I was waiting for your answer. <laughs> but, um, so today what I will be doing is making soft plastic lures. So I'll be trying something different today, something I haven't done before. So basically I've seen videos of people that'll take their mold. They will take the tip of their Senkos right here and they'll cut it down. It will just sit that back in the mold and do like a two-tone sync up. That was probably a terrible job of explaining that. I'm gonna make like full length blue Senkos first. I'm gonna cut the tips of them, leave the tip in the mold and then inject some black Senkos with probably some blue flake or something like that and see how they come out. I think the blue Senkos should be very interesting because the blue that I have is like an electric color blue. So this should be a cool, they should look pretty cool. I might keep one full blue Senko though in the mold. All right guys, I'm gonna spin you all around. All right guys, can you, hope you can see everything good. So today we're gonna be using this blue color and the black, so to make our two-tone Senkos. I haven't done this before, so it should be interesting. You know when we make Senkos, we always have to post a TikTok to go along with it, so we're gonna be doing that too today. Me being me, I will definitely probably do the black first, even though I want the Senkos to be Wait, do I want blue with the black? I think I want black with the blue tip. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for black with the blue tip today. Before we start, make sure our, our injectors and stuff are clean. Okay, so that one's good. Check this one out. This one is also good. Probably won't be using that one this much today. Plastic saw right here, I get this off of eBay. We have to mix it well, but we can't shake it, remember. So we're gonna figure out how to do that again. I'm really about to just shake this. If anybody has like a paint shaker thing, you know the thing when you buy paint out of like Lowe's or somewhere, if you wanna send that to me, deeply appreciate it, greatly appreciate it. All right, so because we're not gonna make a full length Senko, I'm just gonna do a little bit of plastic salt. I'm not gonna do a cup of it. Oh, I don't wanna waste a lot of it. We're just gonna put maybe like half a cup into our... Now that we got that, we're gonna add our blue color first because we want blue tips. I remember, see, coming up in life and I also have to cut the tip of this off a little bit. There we go. And I guess I do about 20 drops. I do 40 for a full cup, so we'll do 20. Just gonna mix our color in. Hey, that's exactly what I want it to look like. That is perfect right there. Look at that, look how juicy that looks. This is gonna be good. I might make some full length sun coats in this color. See, this is where this stuff gets fun at because you start doing like different mixtures of colors and stuff like that. So we're not gonna waste any time here. We're just gonna go ahead and put that in the microwave. Guess we'll leave it in there for about a minute, 30 seconds. So while that's in the microwave, we always put our clamps on our molds. Make sure it's getting tight. We don't have any plastic saw or anything leak out. We don't have any flashing of our molds. We don't want that. That's what we don't want to have. Brand new La Ferrari. What? Let's just take that out and give it a little stir. Probably not gonna add any flake to this. That is hot. One good thing about making these Senkos, even if you're not making them full length, is that you can always just like, or like cutting them down, I can always use the cut down Senkos for like Ned rigs, or basically they turn into like five inch Senkos or however short they'll be after I cut them down. So you go ahead and get our thermometer out. That is hot. All right, guys, today we'll be making two color Senkos. We'll be making two tone soft plastics. I already added the first color and put it in the microwave. So we're gonna stir that. All right, that might already be ready. We're gonna go ahead and use that. And we are injecting it now. All right, guys, I just filled up the mold with the first color. This color is gonna be the color for our tails. This color is gonna be the color for the back of the Senkos. Oh, look how cool that is. It's like a, it's like a little bit like a, I don't know, it's like a see-through blue type thing. 
wish I would have put a little bit of flake in it now, but it's all right. It's all good, you know? Can't change what you can't change. I bet these are gonna be like see-through a little bit. Then we're gonna add salt to the middle. These are gonna be the first ones that I'm adding salt to. Ooh, those look good. Look at that, that looks, I would fish that by itself to be honest. All right guys, these are the first Cinco's, but we're not using them. Dude, those look good. And then they have like a little highlight. When you put them in the, you can see through them kinda. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take the scissors and just cut the tip of these off like so. And we're just gonna sit those back in the mold. All right guys, so just cut them down and we put the tips of the blue ones back in the mold. I'm not sure, I don't think I'm gonna keep these out right now. I'm gonna just put these back. I'm probably just gonna put these back in here. So what we're gonna do for the next ones, we are going to add a half cup of salt because we're gonna do a whole cup of plastic salt. No, we're gonna do a half cup again. Oop, that's still hot. Why am I always, I'm so bad about that. I always touch the hot stuff, always. Just leave it to me. If you have something that's hot and you need somebody to touch it, y'all hire me because I am, I'll touch it for sure. You might have to trick me into doing it a little bit, but it wouldn't be hard, obviously. Now we're gonna do the black color of this. And I think I'm gonna add some silver flake to the black. All right guys, now it's time to do the black. I've just caught myself, or when I made that last video, I said all right guys about 50 times in the video. So we're not gonna do that this time. We're gonna try to do a little bit better. We're gonna add our black real quick. So we're gonna add 20 drops of this. Now we're gonna start that black in. We got our silver uh, glitter right there. And then we're gonna add salt to this one. And then make sure they push all the way down. So we get full length. I feel like I might put one extra clamp in the back just because we already have something back there. We're gonna take this out. Go ahead and add our glitter to that. So we're not gonna do a full half cup because these people said do a half cup for a whole cup of plastic sauce. So we're just gonna fill this up about halfway. TikTok sees this. Gonna leave the rest of that out. And then probably do about two or three scoops of this. Just put two minutes on the timer. I'm gonna try to pour this salt back in here. Hopefully I don't spill it everywhere. You can not beat that right there. That's how you do it. That's okay, that's the video guys. How to pour salt and back into the container. Now, give it a little stir. All that salt sitting at the bottom. Yeah, so I might've added that salt at the wrong time. It's just sitting at the bottom. All right, so we're gonna give it about 10 more seconds and then it should be good. All right, so we're gonna say that's good. Mix it around a little bit more. Make sure everything's all mixed together. Need to figure out when is the best time to add that salt because I can fill it at the bottom. Here we go. That looks good on the side of that injector. Here we go. All right, guys, just filled up the mold. All right, guys, so I think there might be a lot of salt in these. I'm not sure. That might've been too much. I know I didn't even add the whole thing in there because it just started to look like a lot. That's what we got right there. Check me out, mom. Yes, man. All right, guys, what do y'all think? This is what I got. All right, guys, I already know that these are gonna sink. These are a lot heavier. What do y'all think of these right here? Thank y'all for watching, fish them hard. Have a great day. Now, let's see if they sink. This is gonna be the big test. Yeah, they sink. I'm happy with them. I think they look pretty good. I 
don't know why I just put that on the table. Really wasn't thinking when I did that. And I know this first cavity, probably not even all the way filled. Oh, oh, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Those don't look bad at all. These are all black and just have um, silver flake in them. And they're not bad at all. I like these. The thing about the f not having enough to fill up the mold is that you can just put it back in here and remelt it later. And that's why I'm gonna stop the video. At. I really appreciate y'all for watching. So this is our finished product. Um, I think it did pretty good of bonding together. Looks pretty cool. I will definitely be fishing these sometime soon. I really appreciate everybody for watching this video. Thank y'all so much for the support. I'm convinced that y'all are the greatest people in the world because y'all really like. <laughs> <laughs> For real, the support that I've got on this channel is like really crazy. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to fish them hard. If you catch a big fish, send it to me. I love seeing the fish that y'all catch for sure. Fish them hard. Have a great day and see y'all in the next video.